Hello guys, welcome back to my video, and today we're going to talk about Excel Part 1. In Excel we have, uh, so, of course, your core ribbon, all of these, and there's Home, Inset, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review, and View. So today we, we're just going to talk about Home. Uh, so Home is part of the ribbon. Like as you see, but this is not Excel, this is PowerPoint, but same thing. Uh, so today, in home, we have clipboard, font, right here, alignment, numbers, styles, cells, editing. I'm not going to go over clipboard and font, uh, font a lot, but I'm just going to go minor thing because I've already talked about it in my other videos. And it's, uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, I'll tell you copy and cut is the same thing copy is just copying but what whatever you have copied stays uh, the same so it says ha I copy this and I can paste it on on my third slide but st still looks the same but cut literally takes out that ha from there and you can paste it wherever you want but similarity is uh, so when you press copy of a, of a, a line or a phrase or a word um, so you could paste it wherever you want as many times as you want but if you copy another thing you, you can't paste the previous thing I think most people know that and cut does the same thing too as a copy and we have format painter so format painter just so if I bulleted one of my points oops do it again uh, and I want to uh, bullet it like that again I mean format painter is used I mean kind of see this 89 and 89 they're in the same row so you kind of put two in the same format and these are the so in font of course I talked about it last time but I'll talk about it in a minor moment uh, so these are the different styles we have Algerian Arial different kinds of Arials and most uh, mostly used Calibri and we also have different kinds of uh, size of a text and you can bold your text or you can itali italicize italic or italicize and underline and you also have different kinds of underlining double underline or single underline and here we have bottom bo border uh, I haven't really talked about it from last time but bottom border just gives you like a like a border where you want like to a cell or you put it on right for this so you can see the right or you could put it as a thick box border see that right there it's pretty thick uh, and we also have uh, like font size increasing your font size same thing but easier to do and decreasing your font size we have that fill color kind of fills your color like a background as you can see right here and we have the font color so it kind of changes your text color um, so the first thing we're going to talk about today is alignment so in alignment you could align a text to the middle right or left or there are more like there are more options or you could also wrap your text and merge yourselves I'll show you how to do the alignment so here's my alignment okay so for example I'll just say ha 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 and I want it more okay that's different
on more to my left, it goes more to my left, or more to my right, or stay in the center, or align it top. I mean, I can't really align it top because there's no space on the top. Or you can align it in the middle, same thing as center, but you know you're aligning in the middle, and or you could also align it to the bottom. And uh, we have this one, which is which kind of uh, shows you how you want your text to be counterclockwise or clockwise or vertical, uh, something like that. And I mean, there are more options, of course. And you can also there's format cell alignment, same thing as these all. And you could also move your indents. So indents is more like, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not your text. It is your cell that is moving. It is your cell. So if I want to increase my indent, my borders are going to go farther away. Or if I want to decrease my indent, it's going to come together. And there's wrap text. Uh, so it just multiplies your lines see or if you want this uh, so maybe you are exceeding and you can't see I mean, see you're exceeding the line, you can't see other part. You can just wrap text, it just makes it regular or just makes it uh, put it on the one slide and you can see whenever you want. And you can also merge to center. Right there, you can see that A move to center. Or you could cross, or you can merge your cells. Or unmerge your cells. Yeah, that's the point of alignment. Alignment is how you al how you want to design your cell. I mean, that's the whole, the whole point. Okay. The so next one is numbers. Numbers. We have different kind of subcontent, like number format, percentage style, comma style, all like different kinds of styles and decimal points. Um. So here's my numbers and and for uh, so maybe I just want to say nine so maybe my bit I want to create a fraction see these are the all styles you have different kinds of uh, number formats you have general currency accountings time or date percentage fraction it's gonna go with fraction so I'll say 9 divided by 21. Okay, it gives you our normal format. And I want to I want to be percentage. Just press this button. I'll say 43%. Or I could put it as a dollar sign like 43 cents. Or there's like United Kingdom or pounds, euros, Chinese currency in Switzerland currency yeah and uh, you could also add commas like as you know what I mean you put so uh, regularly you have comma every other three decimals I mean no three numbers as you can see right here I press the comma button So it just is more specific, and you could actually read it as in a number. A number. Uh, I'll show you how to use. Okay, these two are decimal points. So this one increases your decimal to to make it more precise, or this one decreases your decimal point. So let's say ninety three point nine eight eight. So I want to in increase my decimals. You can see it's adding zeros. Or I want to decrease my decimals, or take out my decimals. 
94. I mean, that's the lowest it could go because there's no more decimal point. So that's the lowest it could go. There's style. Styles is more like how you design your your cell. It's same thing like uh, same thing like the alignments. But alignments gives you the text too. But these are just the cells and how you want to present your data. So conditional formatting format a stable or cell style. Here is conditional formatting. So this one kind of uh, kind of easily spots your trends and like kind of varies it to the other one uh, maybe I should say seven nine here's my seven six four okay I'm just going to condition format it highlights cells to say greater than greater than two So these are all greater than two, or if I wanted more uh, greater than uh, six, see all the, all, all all of them change to seven because they're greater than six, and that's and. My bad. Uh, let me just. Okay. That was my bad. I'd say greater than 6.5. Cause see, the, the things that are greater than 6.5 are highlighted in red, and the other things are left normally, like regular color. So that's the point of conditional formatting. It kind of changes your. It kind of highlights how you want how you want your text to be. Or. Yeah. You can also format as a table. So you want to create a table, just create one. Here's uh so where your data like how how big you want the data be. I just want it small. But for example, I mean don't freak out if your table is like this. Just like kind of add add it to them. So it's column two, column three. And we also have cell styles. So how you so you could have a an accent one or an accent two or a different kind of accent on a bad good neutral. Uh, you could also create your own style. Um, next one cells. So cells is of course talking about it's a specific cell or it's old row of cell or old column of cell and here we have insert delete and format My bad. Um, so you could insert a cell the entire column you, you can see the movement or you could delete the cell I'll show you with numbers. Uh, so I'll say five, six, seven, two. So I selected this cell. I mean this cell column, and I'll, uh, and I'll change that. I'll insert another cell. Entire column. See the fifty-six and seventy-seven is moved, but right now I don't want that. Like these two numbers, I want to create another di like different kind of cell. Because I messed up the old data, you can just press that delete, and you could delete the entire column. But if you want it back, like of course, like just press Control Z, that will bring it back. And you could also format yourselves like how you how much of your row height you want it to be. Let's say 89, that's pretty big. Or you could auto fit your row height, and you can also change your column height or height or unhide your rows columns or rename your sheets tap colors protect your sheet or lock cells formatting of course last one uh, for this home editing 
so editing you clearly have how to so right now we clearly know how to use a cell how to apply it uh, now I'm going to sh show you how to edit edit a cell let's just say uh, okay you know what I want some these two these two are equal to 133 or if I want to find the average of these two I'll just go back here and find average of course 56 or 7 9 okay just absorb these two numbers all right so my bad select these two first Okay, and I messed it up. Okay, remember to select these two, and then you'll find your out of sum. You want to max maximum. You just select these two, one, and the other one. The maximum is 56 because that's the highest number you can find. Or you want to maximize these two numbers, you want to find which one is higher. See, it is 9. Of course, 9 is bigger than 7. And there is fill. So if you want to fill it more on the bottom, down, or you want to fill that 56 upwards. Or you can also clear your format or click clear all or clear your content. And uh, for example, if I say 9 and 10, and I want to find which is higher. See the 10 is now higher because I say I pressed sort largest to smallest and 10 is larger than 9 or if I want smallest to largest 9 is more than 10 and find and select uh, so you could find your text for example most most schools do not want you to use first person in your uh, when you write your data in your scientific labs or anything so maybe you want to take out I from your first person you could just say f find all find next or you want to replace with something else instead of I you want to replace with uh, a scientist you, you, like just say replace all like wherever it says I it's gonna find them and replace as I could see a scientist Yep, that's the point. I um, mean, that's the old thing. Excel, Excel is more like data, and and it's, it's not similar to Word. As you can see, the home is different compared to the Word I've showed you. Yes, and thank you for watching this video.